First of all, for us to talk about duplication, we got to talk about the Thompson rule. All right, the Thompson rule, my buddy, uh, Larry Thompson, been uh, network marketing for 50 years, 50 years. And uh, Larry and Taylor were very blessed, good friends of ours. They were also clients of ours um, last year, I think. Maybe you, yeah, last year. And um, and so I learned mo the, ma the majority of what I know about duplication, I really learned from Larry. Off we go. Uh, here we go. So we got <laughs> many of you are very familiar with this, but it helps to uh, it helps to have a refresher. Okay. So you got eighty percent. You got fifteen and five. And I know that many of you have heard this forty two hundred times, but it's needed. It's needed. People still don't get it. So eighty percent of people, and this is level of desire have a level of desire of zero to five hundred dollars a month now some of you may wonder what do you mean zero bro what do you mean zero bro some people just like belonging they just like being a part of the organization they just like getting a picture with you they, they just like giving you high fives at a at an event and taking a selfie with you okay um 15 percent two to three k a month five percent 25k a month okay plus and and so Five percenters, like like some, uh, I always try to give you a little bit different angle when I teach this because I teach this so often. But um, one of the one of the problems is most of your trainers are five percenters and they think like five percenters. Okay, so usually when we have a client that's a top earner in their company and they hire us and we start working with them, they're you know and and they when they really get this, many five percenters are like, well. Dude, how do I get the 80 percenters to be five percenters? How do I do that? And I'm like, well, that's uh, math. Doesn't work that way. It's math. <laughs> 80 percent. And by the way, even though I said this was levels of desire, some of you classified yourself as an 80 percenter. You're like, oh, I'm not making more than $500 a month. I'm an 80 percenter. No, you're not. It's level of desire. So an 80 percenter is probably not going to get on a live on how to make more money. They're, that's not that's not their focus. That's not their concern. You know, an 80 percenter is not going to buy any courses from us. They're just not going to. You know, and by the way, it doesn't 80 percenter doesn't mean that they're broke. It just means that they don't have a goal to make money in your company. So they could actually be rich. You know, there were, we had, um, when we were actively building a network marketing organization, I mean, we had very wealthy doctors that were in the organization that they had solved the money issue. They weren't looking to make money with the company, but they liked the culture. They liked being around inspired people. They liked showing up to the events. They liked, they liked that kind of stuff. And so if I ever wanted to get rid of them, Right. If I wanted to just say, hey, get off auto ship, if I ever wanted to get rid of them, I would just have to put more pressure on them. So they would stay on auto ship forever unless I put pressure on them. You see? And so which is exactly what the five percenter usually does. The five percenter comes into their group and says, hey, losers, step it up, man. Right. And so they yell at these people. And the 15 percenters might get a little bit like, oh, okay, you know what? You're right, bro. I need to step it up. The 80 percenters are like, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't, I'm not paying money each month to, to this company to be yelled at. This is dumb. You know, screw this. And so we, we suggest that instead of like how most uplines think, which is like a sales manager, okay, don't think like a sales manager. Stop being a one trick pony. Stop thinking that the only benefit of your entire network marketing profession is money. Okay. Stop thinking that way. It's just not very bright. And so stop thinking like a sales manager and instead a better one is start thinking like a gym owner. Okay. So as a gym owner, when you go to the gym and you're paying your auto ship, I mean membership, 
sorry, I get the two things confused. But uh, when you go to the gym and you're paying your membership or auto ship, which one is it now? Okay. Do they make you lift your shirt? Lift your shirt, boy. Or can you just go over to the row machine, do four minutes and then leave? And they're like, thanks for coming in. Way to go, bro. Killing it. They, they're not pressing you to get results. You're paying them. They're cool with that. You should be cool with that too. Now that doesn't mean that you just don't care. If I go to the gym and I say, hey man, I'm ready to get diesel, man. I'm ready to get ripped. I'm ready to you know, flip some tires, grow a beard, do CrossFit. I'm ready to do this thing. Do they have other classes for me? Of course. They'll say, hey, go, go over there, man. Go, there's spin class, there's racquetball, there's swimming, there's, there's CrossFit, but you gotta grow a goatee first, right? You gotta get some more tats, bro, okay? And so if I raise my hand and say, I wanna step it up, I wanna step it up, my level of desire in the gym is higher now, what do I do? They'll point me to additional classes or to a personal training. That's how you should operate too. That's how you should operate, not as a sales manager where it's like, why aren't y'all producing? Like imagine if the gym owner operated like a sales manager, like they got compensated off the physical result of everyone in there and they got penalized for people not getting results. Not smart, not smart, okay? So culture is making all of these people feel good regardless of their level of desire or level of result. So having an environment that is totally cool with, uh, Tina not being a rock star, with Tina not prospecting someone every day. It totally respects and, and loves on Tina just for being part of the community, okay? So hopefully that helps. So first of all, you have to adopt this. So when you ask the question, why do people not follow the plan to duplicate? Well, 80% don't even have a desire to duplicate. 80% don't even care to duplicate. And so, but if you as the leader are like, why aren't y'all duplicating, man? That'd be like, you know, those of you who are parents, you know, go to your, go to your kids and, uh, you know, and say, hey, I really want you to play the guitar. And they're like, well, I, I don't really like the guitar. Why well, didn't I ask you if you liked it? You go play the guitar. All right, does that, does that, do you think that will net them learning to play the guitar? Some. Some, as they get older, try telling them, them them that as teenagers or 20 year olds, okay? See how that works out. What if you applied this to, you know, ladies? What if you applied this to your husband? You know, how come you haven't learned to play the guitar? <sighs> still hasn't learned, tells other people, still hasn't learned to play the guitar. <sighs> yeah, my husband, dummy. Still don't know how to play the guitar. Believe that? Yeah. Hey, what can I do to get this guy to start learning how to play the guitar? How does hubby feel? Like, right? Not great. Not great. Level of desire. So understand, make them feel good. If you make people feel good, just like think about your relationship. So if you go to husband, hey, thank you so much for taking out the trash. Man, you rock, dude. Man, you've been working out. Ooh-wee. Ooh, it's getting hot in here, right? If you just show gratitude to people, it's hard for them to leave. But if you make it evident that they're disappointing you, it's real easy for them to leave. And this is not your son or daughter, not your husband. It's way easier to leave a network marketing team than it is leave your parents leave your spouse way easier. So if you want to eliminate 80% of your income, real simple, real simple. All you do is make sure that they are aware that they're disappointing you. Hey, losers, how come y'all ain't producing? You've been here for years. You ain't making money. What's wrong with you? And they'll say, but I'm happy being here. And you say, how can you be happy? You're not a diamond. So you want to greatly reduce the income for yourself, all the volume, 80% of your volume in your organization, and all of your leaders, 
then just make make it clear that these 80 percenters are letting you down. That's all you got to do. Super easy. Super easy. Now, if you have people in here, right? So let, let's, we had to cover that first. I can't cover this topic without talking about my 80 percenters, right? And so if you have people in here and they're not following your plan to duplicate, then you probably haven't shown them the way. And here's what I mean. Here's what I mean. You probably haven't either proven the concept or catalog the journey. So some people, they'll say, you know, Ray, how do I get, how do I get my people to, to send this sample out? I keep telling them, send this sample out and, and follow up and you'll make it happen. None of them are doing it. None of them are doing it. And, but you know, it doesn't have to be sample, by the way. I don't know what's in there. Uh, it doesn't have to be sample. I, I, I keep telling them to use this video. I keep telling them to do home meetings. I keep telling them to do this right here. Okay. They're not doing it. Well, if you ever want to make it to where you can't stop them from not doing it, then prove the concept. Prove the concept. You can find more great marketing, prospecting, and recruiting tips just like these over at rayhigden.com. And remember to pick up your free copy of his 29 sources of network marketing leads. We'll see you over there.